Good morning, Peachy. Girl, let's go do some chores this morning. Sonny, you gonna help us do chores? Well, come on. She said, wait up, wait up. Come on, girl. Is Jewel out? Here she comes. Get back, Gidge. What's up, Juju? You going on with us, Jewel? Come on, girl. Can Peachy have an apple? She can have an apple. Here you go, Peachy. She said she's just going to take a little bite. There you go, big girl. <laughs> yeah, you said thank you, didn't you? I'm going to set it right there for you. I'll get you some good fruit this morning. You got the crew following you. Because she's cold. Cold? Yeah, it just so happens to be in the 70s. <laughs> We're not used to that. That's that's cool here now. We say it was cool and it's what 70 70 70 <laughs> like that. We got a cool spell. So I, I haven't mentioned it. It's kind of loud because everybody's wanting to eat. But uh we got us a load of compost and this is the first time we've ever had this much compost at one time and it is four the fall garden and super excited about it we're gonna it's a be a whole dump truck load a whole dump truck load but we got a kitty what's up pinky you see got us a convoy we got us a convoy waiting on us let's feed these ducks and geese so we can have some peace and quiet okay. yeah good morning scott y'all look at the mosaic hen up there isn't she beautiful I mean, she is beautiful. Starlight, Nuggo, you want out? Come on. Here comes Nugget. <laughs> Every morning we feed, I throw out some corn and some scratch as a little treat for the ducks and geese and the chickens, whoever goes over there. Scott likes it. <clears throat> And that's just a treat. That's uh, that's not their main source of diet. You don't want to, you know, just strictly feed any of your poultry or waterfowl corn and scratch. And everybody loves a little treat every now and then. Even Randy and Rufus, Cleopatra. This is their main diet right here. Layer pellets. Good morning, ladies. Yeah. Get y'all up and at them this morning. Look at the eggs. Good morning, girls. Big Joe say you ready to eat. <laughs> Look at Big Joe. Good morning, Big Joe. Nugget, you spoke to everybody this morning. Hey, there's an additional goat in here. Oh yeah, we got uh we got something we need to tell y'all. Um tip has moved in with the ladies. Um, <laughs> as most of y'all know, Tip is a weather, which means he is a fixed male goat. And him and Topper have been together for a while now. But when we added Big Joe to the mix, Tip, uh, I guess they recognized Tip as not being a male and they started courting him pretty heavily and wouldn't leave Mr. Tip alone and so we made a decision to move Tip in here with the ladies where he could get some uh peace and quiet. <laughs> Tip said you gotta pour that! <laughs> oh. Have to do this trick. You gotta do that trick because they will knock it out of your hands. Except Tip is the dominant one. Yeah. Tip's so much bigger than everybody. He's always lived with Bootsy. Bootsy and him were together for a long time. That's right, Miss Boots. He's none of our goats are mean, so there's no malice oh, intent. No. It's just uh It's just a dominant just thing. Just I mean, over food. In every herd there is a dominant. Yeah, there's a little picking order. But you uh -oh. can <laughs> Nuggets, <laughs> Nuggets said, Y'all break them shenanigans up. Here she goes. <laughs> Referee! <laughs> Look, Nugget the little you. babies are eating. 
Yeah, look at the little babies. They are eating well. All four of them. All two four boys, of them. Two girls. Yep. Coco. Look, look down here. <laughs> and Tips. <laughs> and Tips got the whole plate to itself. No, I can pick over the fence. That's exactly what he wanted. And he won't eat all that food. He'll eat his little oh, bit no. and stop. And that's why I do that because once he gets full, these will disperse and yep. Tip will go along. And we hung a, well, actually, I hung a swing up. That's right. Let's go check this out. <clears throat> oh, let's go feed the boys first. We got to yeah, feed the well, boys I'll first. Joe says, you better hurry Come up. on, Jojo. He said, you better hurry up. Come on, Jojo. <laughs> Topper. And they are nothing. They don't fight over food no. like they used to. And I think that was Tip. It may have been Tip. You know because what? Because these guys, they just... There's no fussing and fighting going on right now. They swap bowls. Yeah, that's typical. They're but but they're not... I mean, I can pour it See? with no problem. <laughs> Topper said, move out of the way, big guy. Now, Joe's going to come over here. <clears throat> and Topper... Y'all see how big Joey is. But you just saw how Topper is the dominant one in this pen. Hey, buddy. Even though he's half the size of Big hey, Joe. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you're the ball. Stinky. You're the ball. Stinky, stinky. Okay, so let me tell <clears throat> something real quick. Okay. So, tip, you know, right. his swing his situation. Swing. It was on a stand, and Jason and I got it as a wedding gift. That's right. It's over 20 years old. 20 years old. When, when Mary Carl and I moved Tip over here, we said Tip needs a swing. I took the swing out of here as i'm getting the old parts out uh -huh. i feel something going down my leg and i made a quick glance because i was you know moving the wood like this and i uh -huh. felt it and i looked down and i don't know if it was topper or joe but they sprinkled me with their <laughs> essence <laughs> they tt'd all over me it went all down in my boot all in my sock oh my gracious so i'm not you i'm not your mate the, the Americanos, uh -huh. one of the younger ones, uh -huh. made her first egg, I guess. Is that right? Yep. In the goat pen? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. All right, so this is what I did with the swing. Let's go show them the swing. I figured since Tip was going to be in here, it was only right to move his swing in here. The swing's okay. It was just the frame that messed up. Right. So I felt it was only fitting that Tip got his swing. And this was just a quick fix. So the frame was shot, and I had two little hooks here. So I just hooked him in and hung his swing up. It's yes, it's seen its better day. <laughs> but it's it, none of them are loose. They're all intact. He loves that swing. He loves it. And you know what else? What? The little boys like it. The I got a new bucket. You want me to bring it? Yeah, let's go get a new bucket. I'll bring it. Okay. Huh? Come here. Oh, we. If you don't think our animals don't get along together check this out sunny our rescue who come from the shelter with pink our rescue who come from the shelter maybe that's why they're both rescues and that's why they love each other well they all love each other in there well that's all true rescues. they all love each other yeah most of them are all rescues <laughs> we got a soft spot around here the Cock Hill Rescue or Farm Sanctuary. That's what it's getting to be like. If you feel like. something's in need, guess what? Yeah, we'll take it. And we love these goat buckets. These guys, they love it. It's, they love um, it. It's basically just extra minerals. And we like those better than the blocks. I'm just not a big fan of the blocks. This is a cobalt blue block. I well, like they, these they, better. The goats like this better. The goats like that better too. Now we have recently moved... Move some stuff around. I'm not 100% sure where everything is now since Mary Carl made a big move. I do know that she moved Rod and Sally and all those guys <laughs> in here. Tony. Tony. These are the ones that were in Mary Carl's other coop. Now, Mary Carl's got her a new coop because JK Quail Farm got the quail because, you know, we just love the chickens more than the quail. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. And and you don't know unless you try. That's right. So Mary Carl said, let's move all my chickens over here. Like Miss Sally. When she's comfortable, uh -huh. her little head feathers flare up. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And Sally is what kind of chicken? A modern game. A modern game. <laughs> and Nugget loves Crocs. And Ollie is a new little duck we got that... It's not a rescue, but it was uh, I guess you'd say drop-off point. The drop-off place. Somebody had a duck. They had a bunch, uh -huh. and they all got adopted but him. But him? 
Yeah. Okay. And he was the last one left. They hatched him. So Ollie's now part of the cog squad. Yeah. But their food and water's okay. We got them automatic water and they're so good. It looks like their feet is fine. And on to the pheasants. The pheasants. We're probably going, we got to fill their waters up. They They're like, they need some feed. I'm going to fill this water up. Okay, well, I got you locked in. What? <laughs> I got you locked in. <laughs> I was going to let you live with the pheasants. Panic. We can make a video. I lived with the pheasants for 24 hours. Our pheasants get a game bird feed. I believe it's game bird grower. Right? Game bird grower? Yeah. I, I, I know you have help. <laughs> There's no way you can do a water around here without having the official water inspector check them all out. Oh, she's going to lay down. Oh, she's going to lay down. She's got to get down and dirty and make sure it's properly done. Nugget. <laughs> oh, nugget. Oh, yes. It's all down in my boot, but at least it's not urine. We are still waiting on Nugget's test results back. <laughs> we'll let you guys know as soon as they get here. I got an email saying that they had received it. So, so it's pending. It's a two to three business day. Good deal. Oh, Alright guys. Alright, over here in the brooder is now the uh, Alabama the Alabama silkies. Look at that peach one. I think that's, that's an Alabama. That is a beautiful chicken. And this that's the Bobby Porto. That's the Bobby Porto. All right. And what's up, Mr. Bell? This is like our friendliest chicken on the farm. <laughs> it's a little duck wing mix. Duck wing Sarama mix. And he's like... Tony's so the daddy? Yeah. And he's super friendly. And tiny. And tiny. All right, we got to get their waterers. I'm going to come back and get all the waterers. That, you got that one full. And that one's full. So they're good on feed. White one with the peach neck and the white tuft. Yeah. I hatched it. Oh, it's beautiful. So what I like to do with the waters, and this is probably overkill, is I clean them out really good. I scrub them. We got dishwashing soap, and it's just what I do. And of course, I got the water inspector here. Making sure, you know, the water is okay and that the water is not poisonous. Thanks, Nugget. Speaking of inspectors, look who's made our way down here. Make sure the farm chores are getting done. We're getting them done, girl. We're getting them done. Oh, yeah. Pool time. She, like, bites it. Now this was Mary Carl's coop where Tony and all those guys were and she's made this kind of a juvenile coop. These guys were in the brooder like our, like ACDC right there, the I Am Samani and among other chickens in here. And that's where this water is going. We got these other four gallons, but I like to put apple cider vinegar in that one and give them the option. All right, let's check our big water. Oh yeah, it's good. It doesn't need any water. That feeds our automatic waters here, which is kind of like the duck area. They love this area. Looks like these three waters are good. Chicken food's good. Let's check this one. Oh, yeah, it's full. Those are good. All right, water number two. Let's go check on the silkies. <laughs> little O and Big O. I named Little O Edna. You named Little O Edna? Yeah. I'm almost 99% positive Edna is a girl. Yes. They're all beautiful. This is why I like pellets. Yeah, this is a perfect example. Way more than crumble. Look at all this crumble they scratched out that's going to be wasted. And if it, if it were to rain and get wet, it's then gonna stink. it's going to stink. Whereas pellets, they don't scratch it. They don't waste near as much. So that's why we use pellets. And it just so happened that they were out of pellets, so we got crumble. It's no difference in the makeup. It's just a tinier pellet. Yeah, it'd be like for ceramics. 
They're waiting on their scratch. They're like getting lined up. Oh, yes. We love our scratch. And scratch is not meant to be a, a full ration food. It's, uh, it's, it's a treat. It's just like us eating candy. So if you want friendlier chickens, that's a good way to do it. Or mealworms. They love, or meal mealworms. Worms. They love mealworms. There's all kind of chicken treats out there now, but... Look at all the ducks over there. They're all lined up. Oh, that duck parade? Well, they hear something. There's a... I don't see anything, but there's a rooster telling them danger's nearby and the whole crowd's moving. Eva says there's something up there. Oh, oh my. Oh, the vulture. The vulture. But they don't know that. Big one. Look at them running. <laughs> yeah, all the ducks, when something flies over, they all go right Look, there. look at their heads all turning sideways. And, and a vulture will not hurt them. This is, a, this is a good example as to why geese are good guard dogs. Yeah. Because look at them. I mean, they're just... they're. Look at them. Plus their size, too. Looking, looking. The ducks say we're going to get under this bush if something comes after us. That's where all the ducks go when something flies over, up under that bush. And you can see the geese are standing out in front of everybody mm -hmm. with their heads sideways, just like guard dogs. While the ducks are kind of hiding back. And there's the flutter fluffing. That means stay back. That was a warning sign by Pringles fluffing those feathers. Speaking of Pringles, let's go check our eggs. Danger's gone. So all the ducks come out. Now they're talking. Now they're talking. I love geese. Yeah. All right, so most of y'all know, if not, we got a goose laying eggs, which is really, 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 really odd this time of year. Um, there is snow eggs. Are they gone? Yep. Yep, they are. Something got them. Oh, well, you can't know that. It could have been anything. Yeah. We do got a great Pyrenees that loves eggs, but we have gathered four of them. Yes. And she this is why. Yesterday. And this is why we gathered them. Yep. Cause she, she laid yesterday. So we know that there was at least probably four in there. That's why we gathered That's them. That's why we gathered them. Any eggs that are out in the wide open, something can get, they're vulnerable. That's right. Something can get them. And, and also something can get the goose once they start sitting. Once the, sitting. Yep. That's right. Nugget is telling me that I need to fill the goat waters up, which she knows she's right. It's time for the goat waters. Get this out of the weather. Pee Pee! <laughs> I know I give the impression that Peaches just lays around all day, but that's not the case. Peaches is extremely active. She, our driveway is roughly 900 foot long give or take and she walks this place a lot during the day a lot i know i still have people asking me about her size and i think people get confused or confuse peaches with like a feeder pig peaches is not a feeder pig she is a breed called a vietnamese pot belly pig they got that name for a reason because their belly does like this this is how their genetics are. This is what they look like. Peaches gets less than a cup of feet a day, and that's it. Everything else she finds just roaming a property like this. She has no access to any chicken feed or any other feed here on the property. All that is enclosed in fencing. So Peaches gets roughly three quarters of a cup of food, and it is specific for mature potbelly pigs because Peaches is six, um she will be seven i have to go back and look but peaches is you know a fairly old pig you guys look at that oh my gracious Hey guys, check out this video right over here. I think you'll love it. 
if you're new to the channel like what you see hit that subscribe button and if you're interested in any cock you'll farm merch like our hats or our shirts check out that link right down below me y'all be good